some of the most spectacular examples of film art, uh, if you leave content out of it, are in the best TV commercials. Uh, well, the ones that struck me, as I see, uh, I get the pro football game sent out in me, and uh, Michelob did it, has done a series last year of kind of impressions of uh, people just having a good time with the editing and the photography and, and the, just the visual stuff is, I think, is the most brilliant I've ever seen. Have you seen City, any of those? City at Night from a yeah. that starts. And, yeah. Something. Well, there's a variety of them. And yeah. Incredible cutting. Uh, you know, I mean, eight frame cuts and you know, just beautiful. And where, but where they, you realize in 30 seconds they've created an impression of something rather complex. Um, I've also thought that, you know, and I haven't done it, and that no one else has, is that uh, the ultimate way of telling a film story would have more to do with TV commercials than it does to the way they are presently told, that the uh, economy of statement and the kind of uh, visual poetry, which actually, you know, if, as I say, if you forget what, the, what they're doing, you know, selling beer or something, uh, they sort of it's really visual poetry that if you could ever actually tell a story with anything like that kind of approach, first of all, you could handle uh, vastly uh, more complex and subtle material. Uh, and yeah, have something that you, you see people spend two million on 30 seconds. Yeah, I know. So it's a bit impractical. Yes. It's, it's the stories that Dick, the trouble is that Film stories are still really rooted in, in theater. You know, you really are basically talking about scenes. Now, they may take place outdoors, and they may be a little shorter than things. And when you really want weight and heat, there's probably nothing that would substitute for the great dramatic moment fully played out. But you're frequently stuck with uh, uh, doing things which you feel could be done much more as they say, more poetically. But you have to establish the style from the beginning, and you have to do it. It has to be a certain kind of a story. I mean, it, it, I mean, there's no point in, you couldn't do Lee Ermey's dialogue like that. It just depends. I just, see, the story has to be written for it, and I'm not quite sure who would do it, because writers don't write uh, visual things. And, um, you know, even directors who write aren't really doing. I mean, Woody Allen's movies, which are wonderful, are still very traditional in their structure. 